Uh, my name is Kathy Moore. I am a teacher at Teal Hannah High School and a visual arts instructor. Been there about 14 years now. Um, I got involved with the Upcycle auction last year. Um, they uh, put out a social media blast and was very excited about it because it's just right up my alley. I'm a regular at the Habitat finding um, really good junk for my own artwork. So I was pretty excited about it. I had participated in an Upcycle auction in Greenville the year before and enjoyed that. So I thought, oh, I'm going to do this. I think they did pretty well on sales and there were a lot of artists that got involved and hopefully more artists this year so when you can combine the two um, it's a great thing to get involved in. I am a huge fan of Habitat Restore. Um, you know they have a lot of hardware and uh, wood and things like that that I use in my artwork. Uh, during the summer I typically go three or four times a week. I guess you would call me an assemblage artist. I'm an assemblage artist and the process is a lot of construction. Um, I take found objects and reimagine them into an artistic purpose, give them an artistic purpose. Uh, the typically narratives when I create a piece of artwork, I use old drawers as substrates. Um, the Habitat for Humanity is a perfect place to buy those. And um, so it's just taking these little trinkets and putting them together and creating a little story, a story that resides in my head. Um, as an artist, I typically see things within the realm of how I create my work. Um, I uh, see objects um, and I sort of re-identify, I look at something, it could be as simple as a, as a hinge with chippy paint on it. Um, how I can use that, or it could be an old camera, it could be uh, an old croquet set and it's the mind sort of starts taking these things and how I can put these things together in a piece of artwork. My process as an artist, uh, there's a lot of construction, there's a lot of physicality to it and I, as I get older I get tireder, my hands um, get very sore, you know as you get my age you have a little bit of arthritis and you can definitely feel it after you've worked six, seven, eight hours in the studio. Last year for the Upcycle auction, um, when I went in to sign up, there was a, a, a vintage radio sitting on the counter. And I said, oh my goodness, that's what I want. Because I typically take something and I gut it. The guts are just important as the case itself. And it was actually sold. And um, the guy that had it on the counter ready to buy it was doing the Upcycle event also. And he said, no, you can take it, I'll do something else. So I took that radio and I gutted it. Um, and use the, the mirror. I typically use a lot of birds and sort of had that and I found an old um, a shovel handle and put that in, um, but it was the radio that was really the catalyst to what I created. It was a pretty cool piece. The Upcycle auction last year, when you go in, you're, you're a little bit nervous when you start and it was pretty exciting to see that people were actually bidding on my artwork because you think if you're sitting in there and go, what if it doesn't sell? Because the whole idea was to make money for Habitat. Um, and I was pretty pleased with it. I think, I think my piece went really well. Um, so yeah, that was a little nerve wracking when you walked in thinking, oh, if mine doesn't sell or if it doesn't go for anything, that would have been pretty disappointing, I think. The most rewarding part of being an artist, um, for me, um, it sort of satisfies a passion. It satisfies um, the things that I want to do. I've always worked with my hands. Um, and there again, when you can take your passion and when you can be involved in a community with, the, with a, a project like this, I mean, what more can you ask for? I'm inspired to do the Upcycled event it, and it's kind of twofold. When you can do an event like this and be involved in the community and give back to the community and have a great time in the process, um, what more can you ask for?